not making the same mistake I made last week. I'm using my phone first time. I also have two guests this week. Although you didn't see them last week, did you? Because I didn't use this video. I had to remake it in the background. <sighs> anyway, yeah, intro and stuff. Poly people, <clears> that's <throat> going a bit, so I need to be like, <coughs> there's a, a man flu thing going around, so obviously I'm ill, I'm getting on with it, and other people who remain nameless are dying in our house, so it's a bit fun and games this week. This week I was going to talk about what I did last Sunday, which was tick something off of my 40 by 40 retro active thing. Um, I went for a posh afternoon tea with Rin because it's what she bought for Christmas and it was really nice. We had, we went to a place called Cox and Baloney, which is on the Gloucester Road, I think, Bristol. I shall try and find it and link it underneath so that you can go see for yourself. It's kind of vintage, eclectic, bit hipstery possibly um it's nice though price wise mm, not too um i think it's like two pound odd for a tea so i don't drink tea as a general rule so this was something a bit different for me but um we did start with prosecco with a blueberry floating in it ding which was um quite nice so we had that with the come out um you have the proper you know the little trays so we had posh sandwiches which were so like small sandwiches and we had scones. they were like rather large scones cream jam it's brought up the whole discussion about cornish v devon what order you put your jam and your cream on um and then there were little cakes which we didn't eat all of but they will box them up and we brought them home i said we i brought them home and my children ate them all obviously because rin's girls didn't get a look in sorry girls uh, so, all in all, oh, and you get to pick the tea. So I had a tea called Catherine of Braganza, maybe? Um, I can't quite remember. Um, because you get to pick your tea. Uh, this one had hints of peach and stuff. There was also a strawberries and cream tea. But I thought that was a bit inception, you know, strawberry and cream flavoured tea with your strawberry and cream tea. No, it wasn't working for me. And I can't remember what Rin had, but she did this whole sniff test where you can pick your tea, which was quite nice. I'm not generally a tea drinker. I'm more of a coffee girl myself, but it was very nice. We spent a very pleasant hour or so sat there. I had a slight moment when the teacup and the saucer didn't match. And I really thought they were going to give me the cup that was green because I had a blue saucer. That would have freaked me out somewhat. Bit of a colour, colour nut there. Um, but no, all in all, very nice place. I would highly recommend go drink tea, especially posh tea. Very nice. Um, I'm now, so that was something I've ticked on my list. I've looked into some driving lessons, so I'm hopefully going to start some of those next week. So that's something else on the list. What else have I done this week? Finally spoke to Yumi today. Spent the last hour or so being laughed at mercilessly because of my rubbish Japanese. Thank you. Um, so uh, that needs more practicing, but I have got an app. I'm doing quite well. As far as I'm concerned, I've definitely made progress. But what I'm good at is reading and comprehension, not actually speaking. So I need to uh, do some more practice there. And then for the rest of the week, no, that's about it, really. I have no further plan. I might do some crafty things in the week people are still dying. I've also started, because it's now February, we've got this 50 minute February fling. 50 minute fling? 50 minute fling. Yeah. Um, well basically I spent 50 minutes a day just flinging something. So the other day it was coke bottles, which apparently like triples all over my house, empty coke bottles. We did clothes for the charity shop and I finally gone and spent my IKEA vouchers that I got in my IKEA counter. So <coughs> excuse me so I went and bought myself a lovely tea set that I wanted um, and the family are on strict instructions never to touch it so they are going to be eating out of their hands or from the floor from now on because they're not allowed to touch my plates because they can't be trusted 
so um, that's all actually on Instagram so you can go see pictures of all that stuff and I discovered a very nice Japanese shop in St Nick's Market called Japonica so I Instagrammed about them too and I bought some lovely lovely stickers and Harriet's actually got some really nice stuff because um, she has these Yume Twin boxes like a subscription service and she's got some really cute stuff as well so um, yeah I need to kind of not buy as much stuff though because I need to start my proper declutter. I've seen my dream bathroom. I'm also saving up for that. I'm a bit of a mismatch. So this video is ostensibly about me completing something that's on the list and then me blabbering on about other stuff that I need to do. So I also need to go and edit this so I can get on and tidy my stuff up. So I shall see you next week. Don't know what I'll have done, but I'm sure it will be moderately exciting. Never mind. I shall see you next week anyway. Bye-bye.